nah, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. So, obviously, the, the subject I wanted to speak about was sin. Um, I was just, the reason, because we wanted to talk about Deuteronomy 1818. Uh, if you're confident to speak about that, we'll talk about that. If not, let's speak about a, a more, um, something that you are confident about, which is obviously the sin in Islam. And I don't chances. mind, that sin is a nice subject. I think we can talk about sin. Okay, so, so, so we won't do Deuteronomy 1818. It's up to you, you can talk about whatever you want. No, no I'm asking you, what would you, what would be more confident? What would you, would you think you'd be able to assert yourself better in? The... I have no problem. Let's, okay, let's start with Deuteronomy 1818, yeah? Okay. Now I'm asking you yeah, because I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you try to Okay. So what we would like you to do? Okay. Let me just get. Let's get it out. That's the best place to start. Let's get out. Do you try to and then let's look at what it actually still says. And I would like you to show me how it speaks about or prophesies about Muhammad. Well, I said to you in the beginning. I think you asked me that question. Yeah. I said well, yeah. To you, if I were to choose a verse in the Bible, especially the Old Testament, that I could confidently say. You know, it speaks about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. To be, if, I, if I'm being completely honest with you, I wouldn't choose to do Deuteronomy 1818. So you wouldn't choose it? So it's no, not would, good. That's why I, I asked you, should we start Deuteronomy 1818? I would choose uh, Isaiah 42, the whole chapter. Okay. We, I specifically asked you, because remember the subject initially was to talk about sin. So I said, are you confident enough? Because the subject today we're doing, is Deuteronomy 1818. Are you in a position? Yeah, no, I've given you so, my po position on that. You've asked me about it. Right. So if I if I had to bet money on it, if I say, is it talking about Muhammad? Prophet Muhammad, I'll say maybe. I'll say it's a big probability. See, okay, so, I okay, tell you that's good. But, so, wait, so where did, yeah. You go there, yeah. The, the Quran says Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. Yes. Deuteronomy is one part of the Torah. But so where, Deuteronomy is part of the Torah. Yes. So where in the Torah is Muhammad mentioned? Because the, the Quran claims no, you make a good point. So you say the Quran says they are Jidunah who maktub and Ainda who fit Taurati or Injil. Yeah. So you see that you see them, you see him written in their Taurat and Injil. Yeah. So that's yes. Yeah, yeah. So there's two things you have to appreciate that the Quran very explicitly says in chapter three, verse seventy-eight, not chapter two, verse seventy-nine. Because there are, there are more than there are many verses, but I'm check, I'm checking You're chapter. Go corruption. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 3 verse 78, not chapter 2 verse 79. Chapter 3, yeah? Yes, chapter yeah, 3 says... وَإِنَّ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْوُونَ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ لِيَقُولُونَ هُوَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَلَيْسَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَمَا هُوَ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ وَيَقُولُونَ هُوَ مِنْ الْكِتَابِ وَمَا هُوَ مِنْ الْكِتَابِ just say in English, you know, you know in English, just say in English. It's, you yeah. save time, you just say in English. It says that, yeah. in chapter 78, mm. in verse 78, it says that from the Jews and the Christians, not just the Jews, because in chapter 2, verse 79, it talks just about the Jews. This is chapter 2, verse 78. But chapter 3, sorry, chapter 2, verse 79. Chapter 3, verse 78, it says Jews and Christians. So, the legitimacy of the Bible as we know it, according to these verses, is in question entirely. But once again, as I said to you before, if we were to choose one, one place in the Bible, if I were to, my looking at the Bible, choose one place in the Bible where I feel like Prophet Muhammad is being mentioned, it will be Isaiah 42, not necessarily Deuteronomy 1818. But you know, you know that what you're saying now, is you're saying essentially, that Allah has has corrupted. I mean, Allah has put Muhammad's name in a corrupted book. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, it, actually, yes. Because the, here's, here's what it says in the Quran in chapter five. Why would Allah do that? Says, well, why would Allah do why that? That's would a good Allah, question. No, it, the Quran answers the question. Yeah, go on. Did you know the Quran answers this question? You, you tell us where it says it. In chapter five, oh, you said. Yes. Verse it, one. It, uh, I'll, I'll try and think of it. I'll tell you in Arabic and then you can... Uh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. We want English. We want English. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Am I showing off? Okay. You know you're right. No, no, no. Honestly, no, we want, I want to translate. We want to know because we've been hearing this from Muslims a lot. And you know what? Just before you say it, just wait for it. Just look at that. Hamza, I respect, kind of, not respect, but I appreciate Hamza has given up on Deuteronomy 1818. He said, I'm no longer going to use Deuteronomy 1818. We've confronted him. Oh, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it. I've been looking for Muslims all afternoon who yes. want to defend Deuteronomy 1818, and nobody does. Nobody Hardly wants to defend Nobody does. They've thrown it under the bus. Right. Said, yes, that's an awful lot. I don't think it's under the bus. Right. Yeah. My position. So, so what's your, your position? Yes. Yeah, my position with Deuteronomy 1818. 1818 is that it's really an ambiguous verse, if we're being totally honest. 
but with with uh, chapter 42 of Isaiah, I think it's more clear cut. Can we just stick though? Yeah, let's like, do that. I'm really yes. to hear your opinion. Why it's do clear. you think it's ambiguous? Is it clear or is it ambiguous? What is it? Is it clear in parts and ambiguous in other parts? Okay, go on yeah. then. Can we, can we read it and tell us which we, one? I couldn't tell you. I would put my life on the fact that Deuteronomy 18.18 18 yeah. is talking about... I just about get Acts. You get Deuteronomy 18. Well, so I, I get Acts. tell you, I have a I get the book of of Acts. certainty that Isaiah 42, especially verses 11 onwards, is talking about Prophet Muhammad. I know that's where you okay, want to go with what? this, but please just unpack a little bit why you too are distancing yourself from this verse. What I have no idea that was you, that was done independently. I have not seen that he's done that. The, to have doubts. I have no doubt in the reality of the Quran, right? No, 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 I'm, that's a what I'm asking. Yes. I'm asking. Yeah. Why are you having doubts about Deuteronomy 18, 18 being about Muhammad? When for years, like Jamal the Dawi, for example, he's Muhammad been whole, you know, had loads of people who saying, aha, this is where we well, find his, Muhammad yes. in the Bible. And now you're yeah, they also yourself use, from these John big chapter, Muslim scholars. Is it John why are you 14, doing 6? that? Yeah. Oh yeah, was it John 14, 6? 16. Yeah. 16, yeah? 14, 6. Uh, yeah. 14, 6. Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah. so to make yeah. it clear, yeah, where, no, no, where so, do we so, find so, so For me, every Muslim is, 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 is entitled to their own academic perspective. So for me, when I, when I see the paraclete being mentioned... No, 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 we're not so talking about this. No, 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 we're talking no, 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 about Deuteronomy no, 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 18, 18. No, I'm Why are you going up Medida and Zakir Naik and Jamal Badawi? I disagree with the... You disagree with scholars? I disagree with the fact that it's totally uh, uh, it's totally clear cut in that manner. Just like I made a whole series of uh, Zaki and Ike disagreeing with his interpretation of the so-called scientific verse of the Quran. So, but okay. So tell us though. I don't. I so, don't so, agree with that. Tell, tell us why you've gone against their view. I don't think it's that explicit that we could derive as a matter of certainty with the parameters that are set in that verse that it's definitely talking about the Prophet Muhammad. It's, it doesn't lead us definitively to Prophet Muhammad. Whereas I would argue. Isaiah 42 verse 11 in particular does. So, Isaiah is the Tanakh, so the Torah of the Injil. No problem. Yeah? Yeah. So the Quran does not mention about the Tanakh, it mentions about the Torah and the Injil. Yeah? Yes. So, we're going to Surah 5157 where it says Muhammad yeah. is mentioned in the Torah and the Injil. It's not 5, just chapter 7 of the Quran. Yeah, that's why I said chapter 7 verse 157. Five. Sorry, 7157. 7157. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I said 5. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're asking you to back up the position of the Quran, 7157. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, okay, if it's not Deuteronomy 18, yes. where in the Torah is Where in the Torah and Injil? Uh, okay, right, Do you yeah, understand? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. The scholars Torah, of Islam, because that's the Tanakh. The yes. scholars of Islam say about this verse that, yeah, you do know who I told I don't think Torah Ah, oh, bro, we're going to fall asleep if we keep it Arabic. Just speak in English, you know you can do it. No, no, the Just verse do in English. Five, yeah, five, yeah, seven, yeah, do in English. That the Torah is in the Injil, because the Quran says yes. that they're not preserved. Thank you. So now, because the Quran says in chapter five of the Quran, you must tuhfidu min kitab Allah, that the, that Allah, unlike the Quran, Allah has entrusted the Quran. He himself preserved it. It says in chapter fifteen, verse seventeen, that in the nahnu nazalna dikra wa inna lahu la hafidun. Preserved what? I'll tell you what it says. So it says in the Quran, in the nahnu nazalna dikra wa inna lahu la hafidun. We have certainly sent down the Quran and we will protect it. Whereas with the Bible and the Torah and Injil, he says about them in in, in, the, in the Quran. That he entrusted, that Allah entrusted the preservation of the Torah and the Injil on the rabbis. And they did not do a good job of that. So then the Quran. That's, that's the Quran. So why is he telling Christians and Jews to, go to, to stand the... on the Torah and the Injil and they can't stand on anything else except the Torah and the Injil? Right. No. 968. Uh, same chapter. No, chapter 5. You're yeah, yeah, same chapter. So, here's, yeah. Right. so, so he's a... contradicting himself. No, no, no. It's a, it's a good question. Let me answer it for you. Yeah, go on. فَلْيَحْكُمْ أَهْلُ الْإِنْجِيلِ بِمَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ That's what it says. This is English. Everybody here speaks English. Stop showing off. You speak English. You're amazing. I know. I work. I work to speak Arabic. He's amazing Arabic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We know you're a brilliant Arabic speaker. I'm not. Now can we just speak English? I'm actually not using my ability in Arabic here. I'm just literally copying what it says in the Quran and presenting it to you. You're giving it? Just speak in English. Just speak in English. Let the, the reason why is because I can translate it for you, Elizabeth. I swear I'm not. Yeah, please translate yeah, so, it. That let the people of the Injil, i.e. the Christians, yeah? By what Allah has revealed therein. Fee here. Surah 5, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, in that section, from verses, whatever. I don't know what verse it is. anzal Allah means in it. So we don't deny that there are verses in the Torah and the Injil which are still preserved. And so that's why the next parts of the, the verse it says, where Muhaymin and Ali, it's very important. 
that refers to the Quran as a guardian over it. Muhaymin in Arabic language means it's a, it's a decipherer, it's a guardian over the, that which came before. In other words, it saves the truth from the falsehood. There's a hadith narrated by, and Ibn Abbas narrates in Sahih Muslim that with the, with the Torah and the, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of. Oh, sorry. Yes. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he was, a, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about him, Allahumma faqihu fi fi ta'wil, Allahumma atihi ta'wil. I forgot what he said. He said that may Allah give him the ability to interpret the book. So he's seen as probably the highest authority in terms of interpretation of the Quran. And Sahih Muslim, Ibn Abbas says that the the Torah and the Injil that there are some parts of it which you can accept and parts of it which you have to reject. Do you know which parts? So which parts? Those parts which are in uh, contradiction with the Quran. Okay, do you see the problem we're having here? Yes, because there's a problem. The idea we're is because the, so the, 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 the nutshell here, the, the, the moral of the story, chapter three verses uh, 79 onwards. Yeah, sorry, 78 onwards, and uh, other verses of the Quran, many of them. There's so many verses that talk about the Jews and the Christians having corrupted the book. They threw it behind their back. So many verses, right? So here, yeah, but which verses are corrupted? Yeah. The, the verses we know for sure, okay. that because here's, here's what the Prophet told us. He gave us advice on this. He gave us advice. The verses we know for sure are corrupted are those which go against the, the Quran. For example, in the in the New Testament, those which talk about crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Okay, let's talk about that. Let's let's, let's get to because we want to get somewhere with this. Yes. Okay. So. Let's take, for example, you've just mentioned crucifixion. Yes. The verses that speak about crucifixion are corrupted. Okay. Can you give us uh, a no, source? Resurrection. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're going to talk about that. I'm saying you just mentioned. Yeah, you just mentioned crucifixion. So I just want to just get it home in a little bit on one subject so that we're not all over the place. No, right. no, you can talk about right. sin. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. No, no, no. Let's just home in. Let's home Isn't in. That what you don't, don't get ready to run, Mohammed. I can feel it. I can feel you're ready to. No, but you're, to hit. You're, you're, no, no, but you're heavyweight. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my point. Well, let me finish my point. So, yes. you specifically mentioned parts of the Bible is corrupt. For example, through the crucifixion. So, my question to you is: Can you give me any source? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any source? Okay. Other than the Quran. No. no. Any any source? Other than okay. the Quran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 shows. Okay. Yes. Apart from Muhammad. Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, Islamic sources away from Islamic sources. So we're talking about secular sources, yes, yes. atheists, Jews, that show that Jesus did not die. Yes, yes. Uh, there, okay. is, there is a source in the, uh, in the, um, the, in yeah. the, the yeah, Talmud yeah. of the Jews. They say that Jesus Christ was stoned. He did not die, I asked you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that he was stoned. The question I ask you is, yes. stone is to death. That's no, no, what no, no, the no, Jews no, do. They stone people no to problem. death. But right. it, no problem. What I said initially was that the crucifixion, the Quran's case against the crucifixion is as follows. It didn't say it didn't happen. By the way, no. I'm asking you where but, Jesus did not die. The corrupt. No, no, you, wait, 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 wait. Let me make it clear. So you you don't understand. You're saying that if the Bible is if the Bible is um, the, what the Quran teaches is that if you find anything in Scripture that contradicts the Quran, yes. we should you should not accept it. Yes. Okay. So in Surah 4, 157, it says that he did he was not crucified. He did not die. Right. So yeah. we're asking you, can you show us? Yes. Um, from say like um, uh, a for, secular for, source, secular source Jewish or source. any source. Christian, whichever source you want to use, that right, Jesus did not die. Yeah, so yeah. the Quran, just to be clear about what the Quran says, it, like it, should be it says that it was made to appear like that. So in other words, the Quran doesn't say a crucifixion did not take place. Well, ask you the question again, no, no, Mohammed, no. you're looking like you're waffling again. But Jesus, do you you're, mind, you're waffling again. Do you mind if I... No, no, I want you to answer the question. Yeah, I'm answering yeah. the question. Okay, go ahead. The Quran's case against the crucifixion is that it did happen, but it just didn't happen to Jesus Christ. That's not what I asked you. I, no, I said, no. where it shows that he did not die. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay. How do we know events happened in history? So show us how. Show us from a historian Godwin, I'm, I'm, or from I'm, I'm, I'm a coming. scholar. Yeah, yeah, right, right. From, so Godwin, as a historian. You know, or yeah. show us from You've the. Done some training in history, yeah. No, I haven't. Okay, I I'm have. Just, uh, I have. Okay. I have. So, so let so, me tell you. As a so historian, you're better qualified. So you should be able to answer this. Yes, sir. Okay. So let me tell you. As a historian, we, re we rely upon witness testimonies. Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> yes. yes, we do. Right. Yes. Right. We have five Where are you going with this? We Where have witnesses with Jesus. Yeah. So we have testimonies that Jesus was crucified. Yes? Yes. There's no I, doubt about witnesses. Eyewitnesses, yeah? That's what you said. No problem. That's what the Quran affirms. That he died. No, no, no. The Quran affirms that a crucifixion happened and that those individuals that saw Jesus being crucified were made to uh, think that, yes, this Jesus Anna was is crucified. such a deceiver. Sorry, so he, so he deceived so them. Awful. But you admit that he deceived them. He would 
So Allah is a deceiver. deceiver. You admit that Allah deceived the people there to believe that well, Jesus actually died. Allah would deceive oh. Jesus' his own mother. So he deceived his own mother. Oh, he deceived he this but Did he deceive? That's the question. Can I answer your question? Yeah, go ahead. Yes. The Quran doesn't say Allah deceived them. It says, well, I can shoot be No. Did now, he deceive them? Now, do you, do you, do you, would you like me to make them to appear? Uh, let me tell you what the difference is, right? There's in, in English language, you're an English teacher, yeah? Anyways, you're an English teacher. In English language, you know there's a difference between the active active and passive, right? So if I say I closed the door, that's active. If I say the door was closed, that is passive. Okay, here's what the Quran says. It's, it's called Mabni, in Arabic, it's called Mabni al Majhul, which means to say it's using a passive, um, unknown, yes? Thing to, to describe it. So, for instance, where can should be halal? It was made to appear. It doesn't say Allah. Who is made it appear? Yeah. No, no, hold on. So the, the Quran doesn't say. Allah doesn't even have the power so, to so, make it. So, like so. so, so someone else. Yes, we don't know. The Quran doesn't tell us. Apart from Allah, Allah. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, 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 Allah is impotent to do something like that. So, so something else has to. So, 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 was it not under Allah's sovereign will? Yeah. Is it not under Allah's yeah, sovereign will? That's a question. Lizzie, let's let's be friendly to each other. I'm being friendly. I'm being friendly. I don't run away from. This, no okay? problem, I'm right here, I'm right here. It is under, well, I'm here. Right, it's passive don't run, don't run, or active. It is under Allah's yeah, sovereign, <laughs> sovereign power. <laughs> you know Stop running. <laughs> <We're not laughs> yeah. That he would deceive all of his followers, including his own mother, and make them think it was Jesus on the cross, when it was not only that, but he deceived billions of people down By the, the way, centuries I, I'll help into you. believing I, that Jesus I, I'll was help, God. Lizzie, I will so help. the reason why... So just, just, that on its just, own, just, just even if so, let's say for the sake of argument that's true, I don't think it was true, but let's say for the sake of argument for Muslims here, they want to believe that, they think that's true, why on earth do you worship a God who is so deceived? Okay. And if you no, think no, he's no. not being deceitful, yes. even the Quran says that Allah is a deceiver. Okay. okay. Well, no, let In me case you're under you. any yeah. doubt, no, that's actually you. what Allah describes no, 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 says about let me, let me correct you on this, yeah. I think you're right to some extent. Okay, I'll tell you what. So, so, wait, wait, just, just, just no, the point, is Allah a deceiver? There's three, there's three. Is Allah a deceiver? No, no, it's not. But I'll tell you what Allah is. He's not a deceiver. Is he not a deceiver? Can I explain? Okay. No, listen, look at me. I don't want I, to. I'll help you. You don't need to. Okay, guys. Okay, so. The Quran says, I'll help you. Well, I'm, I, I'm saying, please will, answer the subject. I'll, I'll We've asked you where, no, no. give us a source. Do you know, if you guys talk over me, it's all three of you, Go on. then it's not fair. But yeah. answer, the people, people answer the question. Like, okay, answer I, the I, question. Okay. We just need sources. Okay, the Quran okay, says, the Quran says, in chapter 4 of the Quran, same place, uh, that they deceive you. Yeah, that they, Allah, He deceives them. So He's a deceiver. Wait a minute. Well, I'm giving you, a, I'm giving, I'm helping you, mother. I, I, I'm giving you the, the real. We know, we know Allah is a deceiver. Okay, we you don't need to prove it to us. We want to know why he deceived. The reason we're Christians today please. is because we believe Godwin. Jesus died. Godwin, please. Who thought was that? Godwin, please. Who thought was that? Do you mind if I answer your question, bro? I've let you speak. Come on, come on. If you want to be speed up, speed up a little bit. Come on. You're, you're, you're speaking in Arabic. You're, you're just waffling a bit. But get to the point. Get to the point. So, in Arabic language, when you do something as a verb, it doesn't mean that you embody that thing as either an adjective or a noun. Let me give an example. <laughs> we'll see his point, we'll see his point, we'll see his point. Semantics, you're playing semantics so if, here. You, uh, Don't we'll do allow that. an answer. So the point you, we'll allow the man to answer passively, you. If you interject, how can he answer you? No, whether passively or Brother, he waffles. You're just, you just came to the subject. You just came to the subject. So this will be the last time I speak to you guys. If you want me to talk to you, I'm giving you guys respect. That's three of you. Yeah, that's fine. But don't give us this waffly, waffly answer, all right? When you're playing semantics, you're playing semantics. Playing semantics. Let the man explain. Okay. When you're saying, we'll come after you after this. Either adjectives, or passive, or adjectives, or nouns. It doesn't matter whether adjectives or nouns or adverbs or whatever. Okay, so, We're so, not in grammar class here. Yeah. The point is, Allah, We're in His sovereignty, allowed so people yeah. to be deceived into thinking that Jesus was crucified okay, when He well, wasn't. Hey, hey, uh, Why do you worship what, what, this deceiver? Okay, fine. Yes. No problem. And how do you know that you're deceived? Has shown. That yes, he can deceive the people by saying oh, 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 oh. But it's not Fantastic. Yes. No, no, I'm not interrupting you. I just no, no, no. Yeah, I, I'm, I, here's my question to you now. How is that a creedal disproving implication? We've asked you. It's not talking about the. Hold on. It's not talking about. Yes. It's not talking about the, the, the crucifixion. He never uses the word khida'a uh, here in Arabic, which means deception. I'm talking generally. You got, you got the, the Quran affirms that Allah has the ability to deceive the, for example, the hypocrites. He deceived. Yes, he, yes. he deceived Allah, people. Yes. The ability, he did deceive. He's talking about Jesus' own mother. So no, he doesn't say that in the Quran. So, 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 who did he deceive? So here, here's what I'm asking who you guys. I'm asking you guys, so what? I'm asking you guys, so if, yes, yes, this is my question. I'm asking you, if Allah 
can deceive people who are, who are attempting to deceive him and other people. Why is that necessarily a creedal disproving thing? Because, because why is that? How's that, that wrong? How can how can a moral god in yeah. his nature yes, have yes. deception? Well, this a was, moral god no, no. has the ability. I'm going to ask you a question. You guys are clever, yeah? Has God the ability to deceive people? Yes or no? That's not his nature at all. Has God got the ability to deceive the people? Yes or no? It's not in his nature. Is God got the That's what it means. It's Has not his nature. God got the ability to deceive? That's yes or no? I'm asking a question. No, 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 let him pick it up. Has God got the ability to deceive? Yes or no? Do you have the ability to deceive? No. 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 He doesn't have the ability. But he can become a man. I think he's gone. No. You're going to run up. He's running. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Mohammed, Mohammed, see we answered the question. Okay, so Allah, Allah is a deceiver. God does not have the ability to The God of the Bible is not a deceiver. No problem. So we can, we, we, we carry that, yeah? He has a deceiver okay. in the Old Testament. But okay. I'm going to say to you this. No, no, I'll give you the, the references. I'll give you the references. Baba, you know the references you're going to go to and you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, is, he is a deceiver in the Old Testament. Okay. So, by the way, by the way, so far, so far. He allows people who are already in the Bible to him. Yes, God. Okay, he allows them to be deceived. It's a different thing. Same thing. Same thing. Why are you running? He's running, he's running. Exactly he's running, he's running. Brother, why are you running? Yeah, why are you running? Why are you always 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 running? Why are we did, we, did, we, we, did, we one more time. We, we're so blessed to have. Now. Okay, we, I've asked a very simple question. Okay, yeah? so, if God is, if God has the ability hold on, to receive, hold on, yes, hold on, hold on. how is that this problem God? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're gonna come to that. She's gonna okay. answer in a minute. Okay. What I'm well, asking you, no, I just don't want you to get run away from this. Okay. Okay. So so I'm far, so I'm far, right, right, but you almost ran away twice. Okay, tell me now. Okay. Give me one more, one so, more question. So so far, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just summarizing what was happening so far. Have you got any questions? She's gonna. We've got questions. We've dealt with this. So so far, we've asked you. We've asked. You, my friend, Mohammed, Mohammed, stop, stop, show. But why are you asking Muslims? Why, why are you asking Muslims? Yeah. Hey, of course, I'm going to agree with you. Stop, hey, stop, stop, stop showing off. You're 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 being childish. You're being childish. You're being childish. You're satisfied. He's just fine, he's not Muslim, he's just You're being childish, you're being childish. Show him! Put the camera on him, brother. Okay. Put the camera on him. Mohammed, 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 just childish. Anyways, so what? Okay, so so far, so far, this is what you said, hold on. So far, you said that... Hold on, hold on. You said so far... Anything else? What? You, you don't want to hear me speak. Do you not want to hear me speak? He can see, he has don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Oh, yes. no, no. Liz, Liz, you're letting him get away. Don't let him get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. No. Your, your God cannot. No, he can't. He, he, and he, he just can, said that. He can become a man. He can become a man, yes. <laughs> he can become no, a man. No, no, you don't understand. Understand. He can't deceive the people. I don't understand the difference. He created man. Yes, he created man. So why? Why, why, is man. why is it logically impossible for okay. a powerful God to He's trying to shift. shift. Because his nature is truth. Can God do everything? Truth cannot can, have Can God do everything? Yes, he can. Yes. Okay, nature, can he deceive? In his nature. Can he deceive? He can, he's against his nature. nature. Can you fly? Can you fly? Can you fly, Mohammed? No, no, Mohammed, can you fly? Mohammed, can you fly? Can you fly? Is it in your nature to fly? Yes, I can fly. You can fly. So show us, come on. Mohammed, you jump. Give me space, give me space. Go on, go on, fly, go on, fly, fly, fly. Go, 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 go. Go fly. It's in your nature. Let's go on, fly, stop it. I'm going to fly a carpet. Go on! Oh, wait, oh, wait, you're still here! You're still here! What are you doing? Jump, jump. Fly! We don't go, want go. you to levitate. We don't want you to levitate. Oh, but, no, no, listen. Wait, one second. Hold on, hold on. It's, hey, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not Salat time. Huh? This is how Allah is. This is, this is, this is Allah, yeah, yeah. He will yeah. deceive you. Deceive you? He can fly, but he can't fly. This is me on the plane. Oh, so, you, so you're like Allah the deceiver? He's like Allah the deceiver. This is you on the plane. Okay. By the way, this is my uh, he's, he's trying to turn into a joke yes, because he knows that brother, he's he's I'm completely snapped. Get the sauce off. You won't do it. Yeah. Okay, so, so you've just shown to us that you, it's not in your nature to fly. So and we've just, hold on, hold on, hold on. And we've just said that it's not in God's nature to fly. So, so far, you have not given us one source, okay, to show 
that Jesus did not die. No, you just not, you're not shown. God can you have not shown that. Who he you have not given us any source. Degree. You have not given so us any source. Wait a minute. Mahalo. So God can deceive who he wills, but let's think about who he chooses to deceive. He chooses to use. The Monafik one. The only thing in the Jesus, Quran, the only thing in the Quran, Quran which prophet, references God deceiving the people, is the hypocrites. Wait, 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 how can you say he only speak? deceived the people there yeah. if it was a public event? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The exactly. Quranic verse in question, in chapter 4, verse 157, وَلَكِنْ شُبْ بِهَا لَهُمْ In Arabic it's called مَبْنِي عَلَى الْمَجْهُولِ Don't let go of a tangent. Don't let go of a tangent. No, let him deal with the subject. No, no, hold on, not this verse. <laughs> you, say that. you know what this verse? No, 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 you know no, what this verse? Are you people? Are you, are you, you know what this no, verse? You're, you're falling. You're falling you're down with your sandals. Don't deceive. Student. Don't deceive the people. Mohammed, don't deceive. Don't deceive, don't deceive the people. Don't deceive. Don't deceive the people. If you, want to, if the if people. you want to be a good student, are you, are you planning to deceive the people? If you want to be a give good them the truth. Then listen to you. Monday to Friday, you can have your students. Give them Sundays. No, no, no. You're the student today, yes? I'm a student. So show us a source. Where did the same The only thing I can. So you lied. So you lied about that. He lied. The only thing I can learn from you is how not to understand. All right. Okay. All right. Now here's what I'll tell you. Four, one, five, the Quran. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Yeah? Read it. Show, me. Show us. The only place in the Quran which is used reference to God yeah. is in chapter yeah. four of the Quran, yeah, yeah, yeah. where it says yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only one yeah. verse, yeah. and it's talking about uh, the munafiqun, yeah. which is the hypocrites. Now, where the hypocrites? Does it say yeah. Where does it say it? Where? Where? Show us. In the one fifty-seven. So he deceived them in four one five seven. He doesn't say that. Where does it say that? Show me. Re re read it in English. Who made it appear? Yeah, no, who, it doesn't say who made it appear. To look like, well, like it, it was Jesus. So, so who made it? Okay, okay, who made it appear? It's, it's, the Quran says, well, like it should be halahum. So who did it? It's, 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 it's not specified. It's mebni al al So So who? It okay. was made, it says it was made to appear like that. Yeah, exactly. By who? who? Who had the power the to stop Allah? For, to stop Allah from... No, I'm asking. No, listen, you see. Well 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 did did Allah have the control? Who had the power? Who had the power? Who had the power? So who stopped Allah? Who stopped Allah? I think the people understand. Who stopped Allah? That's right. Of the crucifixion. Allah had no control over it. Yeah, it's very clear. It's very clear. The one who made it appear... Yeah. It's God himself. Absolutely. How, how exactly. can someone else be higher than God yeah. and make it appear You're to in right Jesus? That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. To wrap up, yeah, wrap up, yeah. yeah. So wrap it up, yeah, wrap yeah. up, yeah. saying, yes, 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 uh, go and attack, uh, what's the name of the place, Ramoth Gilead, go and attack Ramoth Gilead, you know, you'll be successful, you'll be successful. And uh, there's one prophet, Micaiah, that says, no, you won't. But basically, in God's sovereignty, uh, he wants Ab Ahab to die, to come under his judgment and die for all his wickedness. And how does he do this? He actually sends a lying spirit so this is not god himself notice this is not god himself but in his sovereignty he is sovereign over everything that happens in the earth god is sovereign even over what satan does but this is the thing he let's read the scripture together okay the lord said who will entice ahab into attacking ramoth gilead and going to his death there one suggested this and another that Finally, a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. By what means, the Lord asked. I will go and be a lying spirit in the mouths of his prophets, he said. You will succeed 
and enticing him, said the Lord, so go and do it. So now the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouths of all these prophets of yours. The Lord has decreed disaster for you. Listen to that. Basically, this is part of God bringing judgment against someone who is already deeply in rebellion to him. Okay? This is not the same thing. This is what of... of um, the Lord himself being the author of something so deceptive as the cross. The Lord himself being the author um, of something so deceptive as making Jesus fool people for, many, for, for thousands of years that he wasn't who he said he was. Okay, But it is showing that Yahweh is sovereignty even over evil and actually sometimes that Yahweh hands people over who are already wicked, who are already in line for judgment to be uh, subject to evil themselves. So just for clarity purposes, the Bible says there is no darkness in God. Our God doesn't have darkness. So deception is part of darkness. The reason why God cannot lie is because it's associated with darkness. It's lying. So if Muhammad Ijab is believing in a God that can deceive, how does he know that the same God is not deceiving him about his eternity. Mm. Yeah. How can you follow a God who's deceiving you, who's, at, who's got the ability to deceive, which means he can deceive you about your eternity? The Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no deception in yeah. him. No Daniel, deception. Yeah. Did Jesus deceive anybody? No. No. He, came he tells truth. us the truth plainly. He tells us the truth plainly. There's no lies found in his mouth. He shows us what Allah is really like. And not Allah. Ah, he no. shows us what Yahweh is really like. Yeah, Muslims need Yahweh. They do not need Allah. So you can't Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bro. This is